going on my super sandwiches rhyme style here and yes we have a brand new lr coming to dokkan battle we got lr bardock the physical super fizz coming out next i assume it should be releasing later this week usually when the data download hits they release a the card within the next couple days i think thursday but if that changes uh we'll talk about it on twitter and stuff like that but it should be coming out soon for now we'll, we'll say the lr bardock is coming out soon now before i get the actual details of what lr bardock does i want to ask you guys what is the next lr that you think is going to come out let me know in the comment section below. In fact, I'm pretty sure some of you guys did mention that LR Bardock was going to be next in the LR Beards video. Because if I remember correctly, I asked that same question. What was the next LR going to be? And I remember some of you guys saying LR Bardock. If not, on a different video. So what I'm asking you guys before we get into the details is, again, what's the next LR? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you call right, send me a screenshot in the next couple weeks so I can shake your hand or something. Or I guess retweet it or whatever. With that said, let's get into what LR Bardock does. First and foremost, I gotta say much love to Truth for the gameplay and Talent for the translations. If you want to follow both these guys, I'll have all the information in the description below. So what does Bardock do? Is he free to play Rhyme Style? Tell me! Uh, sadly, he's not. Now, usually they do tend to release free to play LRs in between some of the LRs. We've got stuff like Hercule, the Kid Gohan, the Spirit Bomb Goku, which is the uh, thousand day login bonus. And uh, a lot of people assumed that Bardock was going to be the next free to play LR, just due to the fact that when he was initially data mined, all they found for him was an LR form. However, I can confirm that he does have an SSR and TUR form, which I've seen the gameplay for, and he's 100% summonable. In fact, he even follows the summonable meta that's been released from the last couple of LRs, which is a uh, plus 4 key, and then 100% to HP attack and defense. In this case, Super Fizz. Of course, if you've got some bad guys on that team, they're only going to get plus 2 key and 70%. So I assume you should only run him with good guys, otherwise they're going to be lacking. I mean, to be honest, I don't really know anybody that runs these LRs as leaders anymore, because it's just better options if you run categories. But for whatever reason, if you still want to run, you know, mono team, I guess this is probably one of the best Super Fizz Mono units to run as a leader. I think. I don't know, off the top of the head. As far as passive, this is an interesting one. Own attack and defense gains plus 70%, and when using that super, super attack, which is the 18 key or higher, he gets another 30% boost. When facing one enemy, he gets an automatic plus 4 key boost, and if it's two enemies or more, then he only gets a 60% defense boost, which kind of makes sense. I mean, when he was fighting against the Frieza army, it was a bunch of dudes, and he was tanking their attacks left and right, and of course, when he just faced against Frieza, he put all his might and fury into one attack to attack Frieza, which obviously didn't succeed, but still, it kind of makes sense for, with what happened in space, so I kind of like that. However, what I don't like is the fact that I, I, I'm not really sold yet. I'm not quite sold yet. I mean, of course, I'm going to go for the summons because I got to go and complete my collection. Granted, I still have a long way to go because I still need a Goku as well. But whatever. Bardock is a good option as well. I am not a big fan of, number one, it being just basic Bardock. And two, not being uh, Super Saiyan Bardock. Uh, and what I mean by that is, 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 number one, the Super Attack animation feels very, very basic. All you see is his old team get flashed, which is basically old art that's been in the game for the longest. And then he does a ride Javelin and the EVERYTHING attack, which, you know, is his signature move. And it just doesn't feel like an LR move, at least in my opinion. Granted, I mean, I don't know what else you can do in that situation, but still, like, I feel like it, sh it should be a little bit better. But then again, the Beerus attack animation also is lacking, and yet I like the LR Beerus a lot. But then again, I'm also an LR Beerus fanboy. So, it, it, I, my, see, my emotions are all over the place, okay? My emotions are all over the place. As far as Super Saiyan not being part of it, it kind of makes sense just due to the fact that this is like, this is like the Bardock moment. The thing I noticed about LRs, is every time they release a brand new LR, they kind of go off for like a, a major moment in the series, whether it be an actual series in the manga or like the extended stuff like the, in the movies and stuff. And in this case, this is the last stand of Bardock against Frieza and the Frieza Warriors, so it kind of makes sense for what they're trying to deliver. If you see Frieza in the background, the card art, I love the card art. You also see Baby Goku. So they kind of nailed that. However, I feel like I'm kind of spoiled because I want more. And of course, knowing, you know, Dokkan and Bandai, I'm sure we're going to get another LR Bardock at some point over the course of the next year, which most likely will have the Super Saiyan form, if not a transformation like we saw with Vegito, Gogeta, and the past transformation units. So we can probably get that at some point. But for now, what we got with this beginning LR Bardock, it's like, yeah, I'm in between still. I'm in between still. I'm sure if I end up pulling the unit and start using, I'll probably start liking it a lot more compared to what I'm seeing right now. But still, like, I'm still in the in-between, not quite sold yet stage. Speaking of which, how do you guys feel about it? I guess that's the question I want to toss out there for this video. Are you guys yay or nay on Ella Bardock? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And also while you're at it, feel free to slap a like on the video as well, just because, hey, another LR means more content than Dokkan. On top of that, we got more dual summons with Nano coming out at some point over the course of the next week or so. At least I assume it's going to be coming out in the next week or so. Soon! We got another LR dual summon battle coming very soon, but I'm pretty sure Nano's going to pull in the first video like he always does. In fact, second question, who's going to get first, me or Nano or neither? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Uh, other than that, I guess we'll keep an eye out for more LRs to get announced over the course of the next couple of weeks. I feel like we're kind of overdue for a free-to-play LR, because if you guys notice, they always tend to release free-to-play LRs in between these summoner LRs, and we're kind of overdue on one. As far as what to expect, 
I have no idea. I don't know if they're gonna pursue what's like next on the list from what we had in the election a while ago. Which remember, if you guys remember, it was LR Beerus, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then LR Vegeta Blue, which won. So I don't know if we're gonna get any of that anytime soon or what the deal is. But I assume we might have some kind of free to play LR at some point to kind of like do to plug up the in betweens of getting these pay to play LRs. With that said, uh, I guess let me know your thoughts and everything down below. We can discuss it as a community. But wait, there's more. Sit down. Stop walking away. Don't click out of the video. I actually have more to talk about. In case you guys also didn't know, we are getting a Kaioken Goku, or I guess false Super Saiyan Goku, but in this case, they're calling a Kaioken Goku. We're getting Kid Gohan, and we're also getting a Lord Slug, which, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't even gonna cover. I did not care about his Lord Slug or another Kaioken Goku, especially considering the fact that the game has been spinning out Kaioken Gokus for the past couple months for whatever reason. I feel like they're like literally out of ideas at this point, so they're trying to cover as much as possible what they didn't cover in the past. And what comes up next is, of course, Lord Slug and Kaioken Goku. Now, initially, I wasn't going to cover it, like I said. However, what I do like about it is the attack animation. I forgot who it was. There was somebody in the Dragon Ball Z Do Come Battle subreddit that posted a clip earlier this week saying, I wish that this ends up being the attack animation for uh, Goku. And it is. It shows Goku and Vegeta, excuse me, Goku and Piccolo, not Vegeta, Goku and Piccolo flashing back and forth, and then they fly through your opponent, just like how they did against Lord Slug. I love that. That is a flashy attack animation. I'm sure people are going to be like, you like that, but you don't like the Bardock one? What gives rhyme? I don't know, we're all different, we all have weird opinions when it comes down to it. But I love what they did with that attack animation. As far as the usability, his leader skill is pure blood stain category plus two key. Stats 30%, which is HP, attack, and defense. In other words, don't run him as a leader, just run him as a support unit. His passive is attack plus 40%, and when HP is below 70% or, or lower, he gains plus three key, and then additional attack and defense of 50%, which is kind of nice. And then his super attack is the normal Kaoken attack, raising every turn super, which sounds confusing. Talon, what does that mean? I think this is supposed to say that his attack raises every single turn when he's super, similar to the original Kaioken unit in the game. So, he could be good in the long run, but I mean, at the same time, it's like, I, I don't really know what to expect out of a free-to-play unit. So, he's decent for a free-to-play unit, I'll just say that. As, oh, by the way, I don't have all the uh, links yet for any of these units, so when that gets released, it's going to be on the Dokkan Battle subreddit, so feel free to check that out. You can also check it out in the in-game for yourself when that's released, but uh, if, the reason why I'm not covering it is because we don't have the information yet. As far as the Gohan, his leader skill is half Saiyan plus 2 key, stats 30%, which is basically HP attack and defense. His passive is mitigate damage by 30%, which means reduce damage, in case you don't know. And every ally gains plus 20% attack, which is actually a pretty decent support unit. Um... Why not run them? I mean, if you have a better option, I honestly don't know anything off the top of the head, but it sounds pretty solid. I mean, anything that reduces damage can be nice, especially in Super Battle Road. As far as, far as the super attack, it lowers attack, and that's about it. When I first saw this Gohan, I'm not going to uh, lie to you, I did get kind of triggered because my first thought was, oh great, they're giving a Dokkan Awakening to the, um, the Icarus G uh, Gohan. In this case, it's actually not. This is actually a different uh, Gohan and Icarus, keep that in mind. So it's a new unit, new unit completely. As far as Lord Slug, his leader ability is plus three key to Giants and 120% boost for attack, HP, and defense. If you don't have Giants on a team, then they actually end up only getting a 70% boost and a plus three key. So he's actually a pretty decent leader if you actually think about it. By the way, these are all free-to-play units, all of them. So this is actually a pretty solid free-to-play unit. Actually, I assume that Slug is free-to-play as well. I just know what the other ones were. So if I'm wrong with that, I apologize, but they're supposed to be free-to-play units. His passive, he gains 80% of attack and defense, and after being attacked for five turns, he gets an additional 50%, and a medium rare chance to transform into a giant. So basically, it's a, it's a transformation mechanic that we've been seeing so far, where if you last long enough, in this case, five turns, he gains a medium chance to transform and become a giant. And then the super attack greatly lowers defense. I mean, overall, though, I'm not going to lie, Lord Slug does seem kind of nice. Goku seems more like a support unit. I'm probably not going to really run him, but I might test him out on a team here and there. But for the most part, Lord Slug, he seems pretty decent, I think. Key phrase, I think. I mean, I don't really know until I actually test this unit out myself, but the only question I have is, is what took so long? Like, for real! Akatsuki, what are you doing? There's like, there, there's so many units that they, that, that they could have been releasing over the course of the last couple of years, and it's like they waited the very last second to give us Tapion, waited the very last second to give us uh, Slug. Who else are we missing? Are we missing anybody so far that hasn't been released so far? Uh, let me know in the comment section below, but hey, whatever, at least we have it at this point. With that said, though, that's everything, so let me know your thoughts on Slug, Kaoken Goku, uh, Icarus Gohan. I know one of you guys is going to be excited for it, and the only question I have for you is, is why are you like this? <laughs> uh, and of course, if you're excited for LR Bardock, let me know your thoughts down below as well, and we can discuss it as a community. Of course, I expect a bunch of videos on this over the course of the next couple of days slash weeks. Hopefully, if I can get my hands on the LR Bardock, I'm definitely going to do like a race, maybe against Nano. And actually, in fact, I hope I pull the LR Bardock, and he doesn't, so then we can have a disparity of one LR piece, because then I don't have the Tech Goku, and he doesn't have the Bardock. But then again, knowing Nano, he's probably going to single summon the LR Bardock in my video when we do our first dual summon in a couple days or so. 
whatever. Either way, it's going to be pretty exciting and fun content to make, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. My name is Ryan Style. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop it down below. And of course, you can visit the subreddit as well or tweet. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.